بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which will be the speaking of unit 3 but before we do that if you remember our previous lesson the reading lesson we learned about eco-tourism uh, if you remember what's eco-tourism Yes, that's correct. It's uh, tourism uh, related to n natural places where you can go hiking or skiing. So enjoying nature while you are uh, visiting the place. And we learned the word echo. What does the word echo means? Yes, that's correct. It's something that's related to the earth or the environment. So echo, something related to the earth or the environment. So when you connect it with the word tourism, so it means that uh, you're going touring uh, with something linked or connected with nature. So before we go to today's lesson, let's take this exercise in workbook page 107, 107. Uh, let's read the article together and then uh, now we'll be listening to the article together and we will be answering some questions later. So let's listen. The Maho Bay Camps, St. John, U.S. Virgin Islands. The Maho Bay Camps in St. John in the U.S. Virgin Islands is one of the oldest and most acclaimed green hotels in the world. The first of the eco tents were built in 1976 using hand construction methods that left the local ecosystem undisturbed. Each of the 18 original tents was constructed on raised platforms that are connected by elevated walkways. Today there are 114 units at the Maho Bay Camps, but because of these construction methods, the sand and coral remains mostly intact. In addition to the elevated construction, there are other eco-friendly design features. For example, the camps use rain collection and passive solar architecture. Also, the bathrooms have low flush toilets and poor change showers, so that people use less water. Additionally, the runoff water is connected to a recycling system that is designed to water the plants in the area. Due to the popularity of the Maho Bay Camps, the owner has recently built another facility on the other side of the island. These tents have the latest in sustainable design, including solar energy. They also have more impressive views of the ocean. Let's continue here. Admittedly, Staying at the camps feels more like a rustic summer camp than a beach resort, but that is much of its charm. The tents are actually wooden cottages with fabric tops. They each have separate sleeping areas and open-air balconies. Some of them have views of the ocean, but unfortunately, most of them don't because of the lush foliage and trees. However, the trees provide a lot of privacy, so they have benefits too. The wooden walkways that connect the tents have so many steps that they recommend that you only stay there if you are physically able to get around. There are shared public bathrooms and guests need to use the walkways to get to them. Every tent has electricity and fans. Although the camps are rustic, the cost is still expensive because, unfortunately, ecotourism costs more to sustain than a typical resort. Guests will find that they are paying similar prices to typical resorts, but they can rest assured that they are able to enjoy the beauty of nature and outdoors without simultaneously damaging it. So as the theme of this unit, this article is talking about uh, a, cer a certain type of accommodation, uh, the tents and how to spend vacation using tents. Uh, it's also regarding the eco-tourism. So let's answer these questions. Why don't the tents disturb the local ecosystem? Why don't the tents disturb the local ecosystem? Yes, they were built by hand on raised platforms. So they don't touch the trees or anything else. They were built by hand on raised platforms. platforms. So they are a little bit high. The second question, what are two of the eco-friendly design features mentioned? What are two of the eco-friendly design features mentioned? Yes, uh, rain collection and passive solar architecture or low flush toilets and pull up and pull chain showers that save water. So you can choose this or that. Rain collection and passive solar architecture or 
low flush toilets and pull chain showers that save water so you can choose this or that number three why shouldn't people stay there if they aren't physically fit if you uh, if you aren't physically fit you can you can't run and you can't uh, have you don't have the stamina why uh, should you shouldn't go there again the question why shouldn't people stay there if they aren't physically fit if you're not physically fit you're advised not to go there why is that yes that's correct because they need to use st stairs and walk along walkways because there are lots of stairs and walk along walkways last question here why is it expensive to stay at the maho bay camps even though they are tents and camps why are they expensive again the question why is it expensive to stay at the maho bay camps yes because ecotourism costs more to sustain again because eco to, uh, tourism costs more to sustain so let's jump to today's uh, lesson uh, lesson objectives make notes about the characteristics and benefits of ecotourism to make notes about the characteristics the features of ecotourism and the benefits of it work in pairs or groups Think about the characteristics and benefits of ecotourism and make notes in the chart, which we'll be seeing uh, later. Then list the names of places in your country that are good for ecotourism and the activities that are offered there. The second part, use your notes to discuss your ideas. So this is the chart here. You can see the benefits or the characteristics of the ecotourism and the place, uh, places in my country for ecotourism. So what are the features, the benefits, the characteristics of ecotourism? You, you don't have to mention all the five, just give me three or four are enough. So, number one, respects local culture. Yes, ecotourism respects local culture they leave the nature untouched and the people living there they don't ruin anything they don't make a mess so that's why it benefits and respects local culture number two here builds environmental awareness the ecotourism as mentioned before it builds environmental awareness it uh, it builds in you and uh, plants in you the uh, the uh, the the respect for the environment again builds environmental awareness the number three here provides financial benefits for local people of course it uh, benefits the local people uh, to help them to uh, sustain the ecotourism there provides financial benefits for local people so you can uh, you can continue with four and five by yourself Places in my country for ecotourism, there are lots of places here in Saudi Arabia, for example, the first one, Al-Ula, as mentioned before, Al-Ula, you can go there and enjoy uh, the, natural, uh, the natural views, the desert, also uh, Farasan Islands, Farasan Islands, we can enjoy the beaches there, uh, uh, the, pristine pe the pristine beaches, as we mentioned before, also Riyadh desert you can uh, ride camels even in there uh, you can go to Riyadh des desert and enjoy the nature there you can continue also maybe you can say the beach in Jeddah or the Mam etc so this is the exercise here uh, read the messages and decide what kind of vacation or trip each writer is on again We'll be reading the messages, then deciding what uh, kind of vacation the, read, the writer is on. Underline the words or phrases that helped your answer. We'll be underlining the clues or the words that helped us. The first one to friend at megagold.com. Subject, our trip. Let's read together. Hi, alls. Uh, all's well here. Uh, we're at the edge of, the, uh, of a forest and about a 20-minute walk away from a beautiful beach. We didn't have to pitch our tents because there are simple but comfortable bungalows and uh, on the ground. The only problem is it gets very crowded on weekends because hundreds of people drive over from a swim. 
that's not all. A lot of them bring their uh, jet skis and start whizzing around in the water. I hate that. Apart from that, it's good fun. The evenings are really great with a campfire, storytelling, and games. Hope you can come along next year. How are you doing? Best, Sam. So, what do you think Sam uh, is talking about here? Sam is the writer here, of course. What kind of vacation is he on? A camping vacation, ecotourism vacation, lu a luxury vacation, sailing vacation, or business trip? So, it's very obvious here that he is on a camping vacation. So uh, where are the clues here that helped us that uh, we decided that he is on a camping vacation? You can see here the edge of a forest. He's at a forest, at the edge of a forest. We know he's camping there. Also he said beautiful beach. Uh, pitch our tents. He mentioned tents. That's how we knew that uh, he's camping. Also he said bungalow on uh, the grounds, the bungalow on the grounds. And let's jump to the other uh, email here to friend at megagold.com. Subject, greetings. Let's read together. Dear all, the view is spectacular and the wildlife is unbelievable. We're in town for supplies. It's strange to be cut off, no email, no cell phones, but it's good to forget everything and enjoy nature. I'll drop you a line when we come to town next. Take care, Derek. So, what kind of vacation is Derek on? Is, he, is it a business uh, trip, ecotourism, sailing vacation, or luxury vacation? Very good, it's ecotourism. How did we know? Because he said the view is spectacular, he's enjoying nature. Also, he said the wildlife. Wildlife is also from ecotourism, he's enjoying nature here. Also, he said cut off, no email, no cell phone, no, nothing. He is trying to be cut off from uh, his surroundings. Also, he said, I'm enjoying nature. This is the biggest clue here. He said, I'm enjoying nature. The next email here to friend at megagold.com, subject the hotel. Dear Said, I hope all is well uh, your end. Uh, the hotel is fabulous with five restaurants, a spa, stores. It's like a designer's village. My room is on the 23rd floor with a breathtaking view of the bay. It's almost too good to be true, and everyone is very polite and professional. The conference starts tomorrow, and our group is getting ready. In fact, I have to meet them in the lobby in about 10 minutes. Wish you were here. Talk to you later. Adil. So, what do you think Adil is talking about here? Is it, of course, it's not camping vacation, it's not ecotourism. So is it luxury vacation, business trip, or sailing vacation? Excellent. It's a business trip. How do we know? Because he mentioned the hotel, that it's fabulous with the five-star spa and stores. Also, he said it's like a designer village. We know now he's in a, a fancy hotel. Also, he said a breathtaking view of the bay. Also here he mentioned the conference, because conference, it means that he's meeting people. So now we know that this is a business trip. Also he said our group. Group, of course, he, he it means that they are group of people. Also he's meeting them at the lobby. So where would you choose to be and why? In which vacation? Where would you choose to be and why? What vacation? would you choose? You choose a business trip, an uh, ecotourism, uh, camping, or one of your choice. Of course, this is up to you. It's a matter of preference, of a point of view, of an opinion. For me, so as I said, I think that we would choose the ecotourism. Let's jump now to what we took previously, the first exercise in page 107. Let's take it again, read and answer the question, the Maho Bay Camps, St. John, U.S. Virgin Islands. Do you know what's the meaning of the word camp? You know what's the meaning of the word camp? When you heard the word camp, you went camping. You know that there are what? Lots of? Yes, that's correct. Lots of tents. So let's listen again and try to answer the questions and try to comprehend what uh, is he trying to say. The Maho Bay Camps, St. John, U.S. Virgin Islands. 
The Maho Bay Camps in St. John in the U.S. Virgin Islands is one of the oldest and most acclaimed green hotels in the world. The first of the eco-tents were built in 1976 using hand construction methods that left the local ecosystem undisturbed. Each of the 18 original tents was constructed on raised platforms that are connected by elevated walkways. Today there are 114 units at the Maho Bay Camps, but because of these construction methods, the sand and coral remains mostly intact. In addition to the elevated construction, there are other eco-friendly design features. For example, the camps use rain collection and passive solar architecture. Also, the bathrooms have low flush toilets and poor change showers, so that people use less water. Additionally, the runoff water is connected to a recycling system that is designed to water the plants in the area. Due to the popularity of the Maho Bay camps, the owner has recently built another facility on the other side of the island. These tents have the latest in sustainable design, including solar energy. They also have more impressive views of the ocean. Okay, so you notice here in the second and third lines, the eco tents and the ecosystem. We know that the word eco means that something that, uh, that it's something related to nature and the environment. When we say eco tents, what do we mean by eco tents? Yes, a tent that is friendly with the environment. It means a, a friendly material built from materials that are friendly environment. Also, the word ecosystem. Here you can read uh, that left the local ecosystem undisturbed. What's the meaning of ecosystem? Yes, the natural system there. The natural system, they left it undisturbed. Also here when you read eco-friendly. Uh, actually, the word eco-friendly here, you can read it on lots of uh, things that you buy. You can see the logo that it's eco-friendly. What does it mean that it is eco-friendly? Yes, very good. It means that it's built from uh, materials, that it doesn't harm nature, and also that it could be recycled. If you remember what's the, what's the meaning of the word recycle, we took it in a previous lesson. Yes, to recycle something is to take, the, to take it from the garbage or the trash, then turn it into a usable thing or a usable object. That, when we say eco-friendly, it means that things that are made from uh, uh, substances that doesn't harm the nature and it could be recycled. So let's continue with the article. Admittedly, staying at the camps feels more like a rustic summer camp than a beach resort, but that is much of its charm. The tents are actually wooden cottages with fabric tops. They each have separate sleeping areas and open air balconies. Some of them have views of the ocean, but unfortunately, most of them don't because of the lush foliage and trees. However, the trees provide a lot of privacy, so they have benefits too. The wooden walkways that connect the tents have so many steps that they recommend that you only stay there if you are physically able to get around. There are shared public bathrooms and guests need to use the walkways to get to them. Every tent has electricity and fans. Although the camps are rustic, the cost is still expensive because, unfortunately, ecotourism costs more to sustain than a typical resort. Guests will find that they are paying similar prices to typical resorts, but they can rest assured that they are able to enjoy the beauty of nature and outdoors without simultaneously damaging it. You can notice the, this part of the article starting with the word admittedly, the adverb admittedly. If you can remember what does it mean admittedly, and the adverbs always they are related to the per talker's attitude. Yes, it comes from the word admit, it means uh, to tell you the truth, honestly, admittedly, it's the same uh, meaning. So let's jump now to the questions again, why don't the tents disturb the local ecosystem? They were built by hand on raised platform. That's why they were called eco-tents or eco-friendly. Again, what are two of the eco-friendly design features mentioned? What are the two uh, of eco-friendly design features mentioned? Yes, rain collection and passive solar architecture. The word solar always is related to 
the sun. Yes, solar is something related to the sun. Again, rain collection and passive solar architecture or low flush toilets and pull chain showers that save water. All of this is eco-friendly. Why shouldn't people stay there if they aren't physically fit? You have to be physically fit to enjoy this camp. Why is that? Yes, as we mentioned before, because they need to use stairs and walk along walkways. So if you plan uh, to go to this uh, camp, you have to raise your uh, fitness level. Why is it expensive to stay at the Maho Bay camps? As we said before, because ecotourism costs more to sustain. It costs more to save it, to sustain it. And with that, we reach to the end of, the, of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.